So I've already got my foundation on, so I'm going to start off with an eyeshadow base and my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. Next, I am going to fill in my eyebrows with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade using my MAC 266 brush. For this look, I'm going to be using my Stila in the Garden eyeshadow palette and the green St. Patrick's Day -y colors on bottom. Using my angled eyeshadow brush from Sephora, I'm going to take Nectar, which is a nice highlighting color, and highlight my eyebrows and bring the highlighting into the inner corner of my lid. Next I'm going to take Sage which is a shimmery light green and blend that into the crease with my MAC 214 brush. Next I'm going to take Honey which is a shimmery golden color and place that all over my lids and that's going to be a nice base. I'm going to take Moss, which is the darkest green color there is in this palette, and put a little bit in the outer corners of my lids, and that's going to give the look a very nice definition. And I'm also going to bring that color up into the crease and blend it in with the other light green color. Now taking a clean blending brush, I'm going to make sure that there are no harsh lines throughout my lid and blend all the colors evenly together. And finally, I'm going to take Juniper, which is a bright green color and put a little bit on my bottom lash line to make my eyes pop a little bit. Now I feel like this look does not need any blush so I'm only going to be using bronzer and this is the Honey, Honey Bronzer from the Body Shop and I'm just going to contour my cheekbones and forehead for some color and definition. To have a matte finish and to blend out any harsh lines on my face, I'm going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and Real Techniques Powder Brush to do this. This look is just full of Stila products, but my go-to eyeliner has always been the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner in black, and I'm going to be making a fairly thick line with a wing for this look. To make my eyes pop even more, I'm going to be using the Sumita Beauty Kala Black Color Intense Pencil on my waterline.
For mascara, I'm going to be using Benefits Their Real. I like to use my favorite mascara as a second coat, which is the Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. For some highlighting, I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I'm going to sweep this across my cheekbones and places where I would naturally have a glow. Now I'm going to be using my Jordana lip pencil in Baby Berry because I feel as though this look does not need a bold lip and a nice pink nude lip would do just fine. To finish out the look, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Elixir in number 65 Caramel Infused for some shine. I guess I should probably inform you guys that my top lip is extremely numb from going to the dentist and getting a filling this morning. So apologies for the strange looks in my top lip. This is the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.